Welcome to another Lumia live stream tutorial. This is Chris Walton from C. Walton Design. And in this tutorial, we've come to the new soft and fine shadow uh, effects in Lumia 8. So this was, this is one of my favorites uh, because of the simplicity of this effect in Lumia 8. There's so much extra detail added in here. I'm on Lumia 8's um, What's New page where it goes over all of these effects that I'm covering and right now we've gotten to soft and fine shadows you know I really like reading up on here the way they're explaining it the people who made it themselves you know talk about how it says instantly shadows become softer penumbras grow hundreds of fine detail shadows are enriched and a realistic sense of depth pre pre permeates the image anyways um, that is definitely true with these new effects and it's kind of two in one I thought about making two videos but they're just so they're just right next to each other all that do completely different things so let's go out let's go ahead and get started on on this see that's exactly the problem that happens in here okay so let's get started so I'm gonna jump into Lumia on here so here we are in this scene. I always end up in because the lighting is just incredible. This is a great example and way of demonstrating this effect, especially with this grass they have set up here. So I'm going to go to one of their shots here. Man, these are all great examples of why, of how to use this. So let's, let's go ahead and jump on this shot here. So right now they're both on. I'm going to turn them off. So as you can see, they are in the shadow effect that we've always had this is not changed before we've had the ability normal shadows are slightly blurry not super detailed and then we had the ultra sharp shadows which would show very far away really finely detailed that I don't touch that button much anymore because I'm always so excited to try the newest effects but right here we have a soft shadows button toggle on and off and as you can see with it on we're getting really we're getting all the tree detail here. So I'm going to do a quick rendering here to test this out. In fact, I'm even going to go to ultra sharp. And I'm going to hit render really quick. Now, we have a lot of other things turned on here that we have to cover. Hyperlight and skylight are making a big effect. But as you can see, we're looking at those <clears throat> in discrete little gaps in the tree there really finely detailed in fact I'm gonna turn off the uh, I'm gonna turn off hyperlight and skylight in this shot if I can find it skylight and let's try it again there we go so then you're seeing it really fine shadows in here and I bet honestly if we went to normal we might not even be able to tell a difference as well a little bit you see how there's a little bit of blur here so ultra sharp says it, it warns that this will slow down render times a bit I haven't measured it I know it's just a little bit it's nothing I've really worried too much about it's not like adding reflection planes or skylight but <clears throat> the cool thing about soft shadows is it really basically doesn't affect anything at all and we can see it in real time so on bam right there what were we running at before 34 35 frames a second 34 35 frames a second so it's not taxing anything it's, and it doesn't tax in render time either like hardly anything so let's go ahead and render that out to really see yeah as you can see there nice soft shadows and that just adds so much more character to these shots it, it adds that soft lighting, which has kind of been, you could almost say like soft lighting, just lighting in general is kind of the big theme of Lumion 8. So very much welcome here and we're seeing as effects in there. So the other one I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off soft shadows right now. Uh, um, I'm going to try a different angle. Here we go. This is probably a good one. So you're seeing it right here. Notice in the grass 
So Soft Shadows is a pretty dang good preview. It pretty much looks just like that, a little bit smoother when it's rendered. This one is definitely an approximation. It's over-exaggerated, guys. I know it looks like, whoa, what, what the heck's going on, on the ground there? It's a little too strong. It's not going to render that way. So let's test this out. So I'm just making a bunch of test names. So there we're seeing how it's really going to render. And of course, we got Skylight and Hyperlight taken into effect as well, really changing the lighting. It's not changing the lighting. Shadows is a huge part of lighting, but it is not really lighting. It, that, that's other effects going on. Make sure I'm, I'm selling this the right way. But notice the little black details in these fine little pieces of, of grass. And it's not just there. It appears in other places here. It's like contact shadows. I'm not really seeing it too much in this effect. But the skylight's actually doing more than more other effects in here that we could talk about later. But I'm going to render it again with it off. And this is what we had before. The grass was awesome. But I did always kind of notice this. The grass doesn't really have shadows in there. It doesn't have like its own little ambient occlusion or um, differencing from it in the ground. I mean, it looks good. And sometimes grass can look like that in real life. But really, it looks more like... Let's see. So we're comparing this one and this one. I hope it's pretty obvious. Big difference. You know, sometimes it may seem stronger, too. You might have to adjust. I've noticed I've had to adjust the uh, grass settings a bit. I think it also happens to look really good if you're going to break up your grass like you see here on the edges. I think it looks really good to affect the uh, randomness of the grass. So it's not all just this perfect cut that's just shut off at the edge. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if we go back into build mode, we're looking at this grass. So what's been put on here, what makes it kind of wavy, is we go to the grass option. This is where we turn it on and off, if you didn't know. And the grass wildness is the effect I'm talking about. So we go to one, we have this perfectly straight mode lawn, and then we do this wildness, and it starts to randomize it a bit. And if you go too far, it looks like patches are dead. But I'm just saying that this kind of accentuates that a little bit more on the edges. So I would play with this a little bit more if you, if you seem to catch that. All right, and so that's that's the real real basics of this, and uh, I definitely recommend you guys open this scene and other scenes that come with it and test this out. You see it uh, easily, and like I said, this is my favorite because soft shadows and fine detail shadows do almost nothing to the performance. They are almost just gimmies. They're just they're just handed to us not expected for not longer rate render times or anything they're just like the easiest little buttons ever and they're not complicated so that's exactly the direction I like where Lumion's going um, I also made these like I did this before uh, I did a couple shots of one of my previous renders I wanted to share really quick so this juxtapose I'm still trying to find a better way to do this because apparently these links die shortly after but they would like to do a quick image comparison. And Lumion has these online as well on their video that they show off. They do kind of sliders like this. And so I wanted to show off one of my own actual projects I had rendered out in Lumion 7. So as you can see here, we have grass. And it's not bad. But, you know, it's definitely it's just this green thickness here. It becomes so much more obvious now. So this one is going to show off, as it shows here, fine detail shadows. And there you see it in there. It's not too strong in this one. In fact, I almost wish it were stronger in some ways. But we're seeing the edges of the grass there. And this is definitely an example here where I want to follow my own advice. I just told you guys and randomize this grass a little bit. But I had done this a little bit before. So, oh, I also want to notice too, it is not just in the grass. That's just where it's most noticeable. Take a look at the trees as well. The trees are getting more shadows, and it is making them more lifelike, more realistic. And we're also noticing, as I go across some of the details in the architecture, so little details will pop out a little bit more. Um, notice here I got a little bulge here. I think that was on purpose or not, but you're noticing it a little bit more. And then this 
little piece right there, that's a mistake. <laughs> that's a piece of geometry sticking out, and it gets a little more accentuated there. So don't make mistakes. Don't leave dumb mistakes like that. I'm not sure what I did. I think I just threw things inside, and it's poking out there. But if you had little actual like molding or something that's poking out there, it will catch that even better, which is a good thing. I just thought that was kind of funny. And look at this ledge. There's a little like um, I can't think of the term. It's just a ledge on for the for the windows popping out there. We didn't even have a shadow there before, and added a shadow there. You're noticing it in the plants down here, and it really adds a lot of detail into those ground ground plants down there. So again, really fun. I like playing with these. I'm going to try to find something where I can share with you guys so you can slide around and play with this as well. Oh, I've even noticing right along the edge of the ridge there, you're seeing that little banding, that little bit of extra detail there. So it's doing more than just making your grass look good. So this one here, this is the soft shadows, and this isn't the greatest example here. I have another one that looks better, and I think we've kind of seen this. It just kind of blurs these shadows here, it makes things a little bit softer. This shot's not really selling it too much. You're seeing it a little softer everywhere else. And then this is both of them together. So before Lumion 7, basically, I don't have Skylight or Hyperlight on at all in this, even though I Hyperlight wasn't a new thing. So nice little before and after. So here's another. Here's my other example. I think this one's going to show it off a lot better. So. Again, here is our grass, and we're right next to it, and we're not seeing the little shadows. We're not seeing the shadows caused by the grass itself. And now we are. So, dramatic difference there. We're seeing it again in the trees, in the background there. And the, ar the architectural detail isn't showing up because of this, the type of lighting I have on this one. But, huge difference there. Especially right on the edge. I mean, it's hard to go back after seeing this. This one's going to show off soft shadows definitely. So there's our hard shadows in there. And now they're soft. And them combined. Nice, soft, beautiful lighting. And and I want to I want to emphasize this point too. I'm not saying I say fine detail shadows should pretty much almost always be on now unless it's really disrupting your image that's pretty much almost an always turn off turn on for me but soft shadows I'm not saying that because I'm excited about soft shadows but quite frankly if you have no clouds and it's noon and you're showing soft shadows that's a that's actually a big no no because and I've, and I've probably done that already many times <laughs> obviously soft shadows usually come from more diffuse lighting from days from clouds or from other times of day usually the sun is makes harsh shadows and so that's kind of one of those things where even though it might look your thing make your 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 shot look better i'd also be cautious the real rendering professionals out there will definitely call you out on that but you know in the end it, you know you you make your reality we move the sun we move the earth to get our angles sometimes so I you know it, sometimes we can let it slide too and I did this one too this one even includes hyperlight and soft um, skylight all of the effects turned on you know it's funny because I look at that and although I would like the grass to have fine detail shadows I like both of these like I like the, the kind of splotchy shadows that happen up here on here and I like this so, you know, it's still all in the style. I'm not saying you always need skylight, you always need hyperlight, you always need all these shadows turned on and off. But Lumion's given us the flexibility to have them now. So, just more options to go along with the incredible new effects that have come up with 8 and that we've had before. Alright, so that just about covers it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, please like the video, subscribe for more, channel, for more uh, content like this. Please leave any ideas or any clarifications of, of specific Lumion things in the comments that I can address in future tutorials. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.